All right, uh, so talking about coronavirus and its effects, on us, we go to the Western region and speak to Derek, uh, Eric Yaweje. He's our Western region correspondent, and uh, we understand, well, there's some tragic news there. Eric, we understand the Western region has uh, recorded its first death. What can you tell us more about that? Thank you very much. Um, good evening to you and good, good evening to your viewers. Yes, in, in, you had right that um, we've had our first death as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. And we are learning that um, she's a health worker at the Ghana Manganese Company Hospital in the Takwa Insoyen municipality. We do understand that somewhere last week, her samples were taken because there were some suspicion that she may be carrying the COVID-19 virus. So the, we are told that she was she was made to self-isolate, but before her result came, she died. She, we are told that she died yesterday evening. That is what we are picking. And it is out of the five cases, her case is out of the five cases that um, we are told were confirmed today. Unfortunately, again, uh, there's another doctor at the Ghana Manganese Company Hospital, same facility. We are learning he's also on admission because of the suspected COVID-19 case. So I can report that indeed, um, if you come to Western region, precisely the Takwa Insoye municipality, if you go to Insuta, um, the, uh, there's a nurse there at the Ghana Manganese Company Hospital and she has passed on because of the COVID-19. Right, Eric, that, that, that's really uh, tragic. These are the frontliners and we really are uh, doing everything that we can do to make sure that they are really kept alive, strong, so they can take care of us. But from your observation, are the restrictive protocols being observed? I mean, what do people think about them? Uh, well, I, I must say that if you come to the Western region, um, the, I can say that there's a high level of compliance with regards to the donning of face masks and uh, washing your hands and all that. I know that the Secondary Takrade Metropolitan Assembly has in place a tax force that has been moving around town and ensuring that people are wearing their nose masks. I'm told that there was an incident somewhere last week that some persons refused to don their nose masks and they were really disciplined on the spot. That generated some controversy here, but um, some of the residents said that it's a good measure because, I mean, we all must ensure that we don't spread the COVID-19. What is worrying with our case is that so far, all the cases that we have are asymptomatic. So yeah, the residents are very worried. They don't know who is carrying the virus. So they are, they are happy with the fact that there's a tax force in place and ensuring strict compliance. But I must also add that now our case count has moved from 37 to um, 52 as at 6 p.m. today. And we are told that we had 14 new confirmed cases today and one suspected case. Um, the, the one that... The one that is coming from Takwa, it is five. We are, we are learning that we have five new cases from Takwa and one is the health worker, the nurse who has just passed on and the doctor who is on admission. Um, we are learning that as part of effort to ensure that um, they don't, the disease will not spread, we are learning that the hospital has been closed down. I've been trying to get hold of some sources at the company, but we are learning that the are currently locked up in a meeting. The meeting we are learning has been going on for the past two hours, Lisa. Right, so uh, Eric, one, one area of concern is actually about the way we move about in the market and even in the transport area. What can you make um, of the situation now? Are our security services operating around those areas to enforce the laws? Well, even, even before uh, Accra went on a lockdown, I, I remember that there was a release from the Second Data Crime Metropolitan Assembly and the Fe Kuma, the Fe Kwesiminsi Municipal Assembly, and um, as part of measures to ensure that there is no spread of the COVID-19 here in these two assemblies, they, they, they removed some of the traders who were selling, for instance, at uh, unauthorized places 
And if you come to the market circle, they relocated the traders who were selling both in and outside the perimeter to the Jubilee Park. If you go to secondly to, I know that uh, persons who were engaged in the Tuesday market and who were also selling around the market were taken to a community park. If you go to Kodokrom market to some of the traders were have been relocated and they don't break their cargo inside the market anymore. And if you look around to, you see a lot of um, Veronica buckets around. You see a lot of people uh, wearing their nose masks. I'm told that there have been conversations with the various transport unions and now they've reduced the number of passengers. And it is interesting that if any pass if any drivers made attempt to overload, you get a resistance from the passengers. So I must say that um, fairly uh, the people here are complying with the social distancing and the other protocols that we have. And Isa, I must also add that you do recall that our first case came from a Chinese national who was working with a quarry company, coastal quarry company in Shama. And the, we are told that he has recovered. So that is the update that I can give. He yeah. has recovered. And um, the contact tracing, majority of the contact that were traced have come out um, negative. So um, I remember about 72 contacts were traced at the company. And we are learning that majority of the results okay. are negative. Okay, so Eric, we're, we're grateful for that piece of good news, the news of the recovery. Eric Yaweje is the Western Regional Correspondent for TV3.